All right. I'm just going to start consuming a lot of food here. Anyway, now that we have this fire sword, we can cast a fireball over here, pick up that pit, and uh, we're good to go. Now this thing, uh, this panel right here, will uh, pretty much always do a fireball on you. I think what you can do is put a rock on it, and then it will only do it once, which is nice, as now you will not have to deal with it anymore. I don't know if there's a way to avoid that damage. There might be, but um, it's it's so little damage that I don't really care enough. I mean, there might be like a little secret somewhere where you can just like head into the wall or something like that. Well, okay, you know what? There's an easy way to avoid this. I could have thrown a rock over there and then just moved to the side. That That would have been fine, but... You know, I was I was thinking about it a little more complex. Anyway, you might notice our uh, our good friend here, a little rune thingading, which opens a, a nice new secret, which goes down once again to level eight. This is the fighter's challenge. We cannot get in here yet, but we we did get the secret ding, so cool for that. The secret is, it's still a secret. Yeah. That fighter's challenge, I highly recommend taking on last. Um, you could take it on much earlier than I'm, uh, than I'm worrying about it, but I highly recommend against it. It is, it is definitely going to give you some major issues. You also might notice these uh, nice little dips in here. They really don't do much of anything, but around the corner, you might notice some a Guardians again, which um, you could technically use that backing into uh, that hallway if necessary, and uh, that would allow you to move out of the way of their fireball attacks. So there are ways. To, uh, to get around things using that, even though it looked like it might not be anything worthwhile. Pain! Pain! Ouch. Okay, we are, uh, we are moving back. For sure we are moving back, because, ow. No thank you. Alright. I do not want to get myself killed just now. All right, I think that uh, Guardian is uh, having some trouble figuring out where we are. So while he's having trouble, I am going to uh, to get myself all nice and healed up real quick. Because I feel like it's... I do not want to, uh, to perish here. That is not my idea of a good time. Where the hell did you come from? Isn't this... Yeah, it's the Halls of Fire. I swear, these guys just appear out of nowhere. I have no idea where they're coming from. No idea whatsoever. Alright. Let's kick your ass. Get as little damage on ourselves as possible. Because now I'm going to have to end up resting up right here for no particular good reason except for a random Dr. Zoidberg decided to whoop 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 out of nowhere god damn it alright where the heck did that a guardian go hmm there he is no thank you no. Shooting fire on an Ugg Guardian? Not a good idea. Hey! Nice new level. Now we will use uh, this for Earth Magic. Get some extra poison and some vitality. 
Very nice. Pretty much uh, level 5 spellcraft is all you need. Also, in case you're wondering, the other spell is this right here, which is going to be darkness. There is um, no particular reason to do this at this point, except for the fact that uh, maybe you were curious what the other light spell was, and now we can barely see anything because of that. So I am going to head out here towards a torch and wait it out for a little bit because it will wear off soon enough. It's kind of annoying. I think if you do a light spell it might reverse it. Yeah, there you go. Light spell most certainly does reverse that. But eventually the spell will run out and you can do it that way. This light spell almost seems like it's making it even a little more bright, which is kind of interesting. I did not know you could stack the radiant ball along with uh, the light spell and the uh, and the torch. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. It makes it uh, makes it pretty easy to see around here. Anyway, I highly recommend taking a look around before you do anything here, because you'll notice. There's a whole bunch of pits here, and um, these pits all pretty much lead to uh, to where we came from a little while ago on level 7 and 8, so no real reason to uh, to want to go down any of these pits, except for one, but we're going to save that. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to do anything with that just now. I might fall down one of these which would be a, a grievous mistake on my part. I don't want to do that. Anyway, now that we have uh, searched out the room, we uh, basically have a feel for the fact that there is a whole shit ton of pits. This place is really annoying. Really annoying. Anyway, you might have noticed while I was walking around, buttons pretty much everywhere. Button, button. There's buttons on all sides of this column. Yeah. We only need to push two of these buttons to uh, to get where we're going. But if you want some other stuff, you have to push more than two of these buttons, and it can be a real pain. I'm going to go ahead and save right here. Just because if I fall down, I do not feel like walking all the way around to get here. It's just a pain. It takes too long. So anyway... Let's try this out. So this first part's kind of easy. Let's walk across here. Grab this torch off. That will pick that up. And then you can move away from this uh, a guardian, which uh, will come out because of where we went. And I am going to get myself away from these pits as much as possible. I'm surprised he uh, waited that long to throw a fireball. There we go. Oh, he's starting to approach me. He wants to get closer. Almost did not do that properly. Okay, buddy. There we go. Garrett's got a nice new level. I like that. Let's give him some more dagger power. Sweet, some more dexterity. Just what I want to see. All right, now then, because of what we did, we can uh, easily go back and forth across here, grab this key. Um, you'll note that I immediately took this torch off the wall, and that's because this torch, um, once you take it off the wall, will uh, close this pit here and allow you to leave. That's, that's just a little thing that will help you out if you don't want to battle that uh, guardian on that little platform, which can really be quite dangerous. I don't like battling things in tight spaces. It, uh, it gets on my nerves and uh, usually ends up with me dying in miserable ways. So I like to strategically fight as much as possible. Anyway, we're gonna go over here not hit that just yet because we have this nice new key here 
which will get us into here and grab us some nice chitin mail. Sweet. So this one gives us nine protection. It is a chest plate crafted from parts of a giant beetle's carapace. Very awesome, and it gives us more protection than this, and uh, it uh, weighs less, surprisingly enough. So we actually lose some weights by putting on some bug armor. Pretty neat stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this real quick. And we have more to do. We are not done. Oh no. Not by long shots. This level is quite long. It is um, full of secrets that you can easily, easily miss if you, uh, if you don't stick around and search this area. Also, it sounded like a, a guardian around here. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, well, there's a, there's another a guardian somewhere. I, I I don't understand why he's here. I've never seen an a guardian respawn here. This is new to me. This is quite new to me. Two of them respawns. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, more experience, I guess. That is not quite what I was expecting to happen, but um. I, I'll go with it, you know? I am not averse to more experience. All right, let's head over here for a second and we'll rest up. I do not know why those came out. Maybe someone can tell me, maybe it was uh, me opening that last door. I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. Maybe it's a glitch. I haven't the faintest. Hi there. Also, my torch is slowly blown out. Which is not something I'm fond of. Very nice. Gained a level. Let's get ourselves some swords. Gives us some extra strength, and we are very close to a uh, flurry of slashes. I really like that. Alright. Now that uh, Guardian came out from over here, I believe. Somewhere over in this direction, but I have never found anything from where he comes out of. It's very possible that he just warps in, and it doesn't matter. So... You know, whatever. Anyway, now we are going to do the harder parts of this, which will likely have me falling down a pit. This is not easy whatsoever. You have to be very quick to do this one, and um, I doubt I'm going to do it on my first try. If I do it on my first try, that is awesome, but here we go. One down. Oh, I already messed up. Ah! Yep. There we go. I screwed myself ah! over. I knew I wouldn't do it on the first try. Alright. Yeah, when I noticed I bumped into the wall, I was like, I'm not gonna make this. There's no way at this point. Ah! Oh, come on. I swear I made it that time. That's one thing I don't like is sometimes it will it will pull you back into these pits when you uh, have obviously made it. At least I think I obviously made it. But you know, sometimes it does not work like that. And I totally screwed that up. Awesome. Yep. Don't have this pattern down precisely. But you are probably getting the idea of what needs to be done here, and just how fast it needs to be done as well. Okay, I think I screwed that up. But I am going to try. Oh, dang it, it was that one. Ah, I always forget which one it is at the last part. I, I literally had that. I had that right there, okay. 
Let's do this. Yeah, I think I messed that up because I bumped the wall there. That wastes time. Uh, maybe not. Okay. My god, I did it. Okay, I'm not waiting there for uh, a guardian to hit me in the face. That is just not my idea of a good thing. Let's get rid of this torch and, um, you know what, we're going to grab this one. That's a little quick fix for ya. That is totally not what I was trying to do. I screwed that spell up so badly. Whoa now. Whoa now. Alright. So, the guardians are not too powerful if you have, um, if you have plenty of attack power, but, uh, they can, they can definitely do some serious damage if you don't have a lot of attack power. So now we have a nice little ring mail here, which gives 6 protection versus 12. And I think we're just going to get rid of this ring mail because I've already got more protection on all of my stuff. However, the Sword of Nex is really awesome. The Priestesses of Nex have embedded the blade with strange uh, minerals that give the weapon incom incomparable sharpness. Jeez. Alright, anyway, this weapon gives us 24 attack power, plus 10 accuracy, and 13 speed. So the only thing down from this is uh, the speed, because it's uh, 15 versus 13. And I guess uh, it's also a little bit lighter, too, so it's, it's technically a very good weapon compared to the Cutlass. There is really no reason not to switch from the Cutlass to this weapon. And now that we have the uh, the Sword of Nex, it, uh, it will actually allow us to to enter that area that did not open for us, the, uh, the Fighter's Challenge, before. And I will likely... Um, I will likely not win it. It is, it is somewhat difficult. But um, I'm going to do my best to prepare for this. So, yep, it opens for us now. If you step in front of this thing, it's going to teleport you. First things first, save the game. Very important. If you die here, you know, you want to be able to reload. Uh, 